Hey everybody, welcome back to Great Northwest Weaponry. This is Thomas, and today we are going to do another versus video. This time, Great War, World War I, Gewehr 98, equipped with Butcher Blade, versus the Lee Enfield SMLE number one Mark III, also equipped with sword bayonet. Uh, you may actually remember this rifle from quite some time ago. It's been well over a year at this point. Uh, I believe the 10th video that we ever did on the channel, and we're up to like 65 or more. Uh, my SMLE had cracked from that screw, or uh, actually I believe this screw here, to the magazine. It was pretty severe. It made the gun non-functional, in essence, uh, at least not safe to shoot. I did repair that. I posted a little clip on my Instagram at Great Northwest Weaponry if you are interested in checking it out. It's been quite a while since I did it, so you might have to do some digging. But uh, I did decide to part with that gun as I just didn't feel good about shooting it a lot. I uh, didn't want to further damage the stock. So sold it to actually the gun store that I bought it from. And I made clear to them all the repairs that had been made to it and what had been wrong with it. And then I turned around and picked this one up from my friend Jason, who you may recall, we actually used this rifle for most of the original demo that we did on the number one Mark III because of mine being broken the day that I brought it out. So for this challenge, we've got two steel targets. One you can kind of see right over there. It's about 50 yards out. We're going to be kneeling on this hill. We've got a second target about 100 yards out that can't be seen in frame right now. And uh, we're going to be doing this from the kneeling position. One minute, 10 shots. Guns will be started empty. And uh, yeah, just going to see how many hits I can make with each of these. This is kind of a proto-mad minute. Only 10 shots instead of 15. The, the timer really is just to put... a uh, a stress on myself to get it done so I don't wind up inadvertently taking my time on every shot. Because if I don't complete all 10 shots, any like if I make eight, for instance, the two will be counted as misses. So it's just to see how many hits we can get. This is purely for practical accuracy and for fun. Uh, I know this is super non-scientific way to do it, but I'm going to enjoy it. I think we're going to start with the end field. So here we go. All right, the timer is set, the gun is empty, here we go. Cleared it with two, uh, I think four seconds to, uh, to go, but it definitely had some misses. Um, I believe I missed the close target once and the back target four times, so 50% accuracy. Okay, it's the Gewehr 98's turn. Timer is set. Gun is empty. Here we go.
Okay. Did a little better with the Gewehr 98. 100% uh, accuracy on the close target, I think. I may have missed one, but I definitely hit two on the second target. So at least one shot better. I'll review the footage and then we'll do a wrap up. Well, folks, today's champion is the Gewehr 98 by two. Upon reviewing the footage, I definitely did not have any misses on the near target with this one where I had one with the Enfield and only one hit on the far target with the Enfield versus two hits with this guy. So seven to five, not perfect. I would love to be running these 10 and 10 and have to do rematches <laughs> just to clarify, but a few things that we actually had happen uh, interestingly through this, for one with the Gewehr 98 on the second reload, I uh, had a, a bullet slipped free of the clip and barely caught it, so that could have been interesting if I'd lost it, but I didn't. And then with the Enfield, we had a pretty severe rim jam on the third or fourth shot. So, uh, whereas I can manipulate the bolt faster on the Enfield, it's not, for me, significant, though I know I've seen people that can manipulate Enfield bolts at a freakish speed. I will say plainly, I prefer the Gewehr 98 sight picture to the SMLE site picture by a lot, not, not just a little bit. Uh, it took me a little while prior to doing the video just to get myself used to even making hits with the Enfield and I came into it uh, without having fired the Gewehr 98 once because I only had 10 shots of eight millimeter Mauser. So it's fairly close, close enough. I think we might have to do it again sometime. I do think that I could do better with both rifles and uh, I had fun doing it, so <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, we've got a lot more versus videos in the pipeline. Next, if I can find some 30 6 I'm hoping to do a Arasaka Type 99 versus Springfield 03A3, uh, as well as Gewehr 98 versus um, the Winchester Model 1917. There's a lot of versus videos that we can do. I'd like to do some more of these in a running gun style. Maybe this versus the Enfield in a running gun scenario. Who knows? The faster, easier bolt manipulation with the Enfield might be a factor there. So, meanwhile, hope you all enjoyed the video. It's been Thomas with Great Northwest Weaponry, and I will see you next time.